Welcome to the future of work and office life, a cross-cultural perspective. Tonight, we have a terrific opportunity uh, to share best practices between the US and Japan to drive forward diversity and to support women in leadership roles. Two items I'm really passionate about, women's empowerment and actually hybrid and more flexible uh, you know, work, pro work practices. Yeah, is, you know, this topic is really important to me, you know, um, as a, uh, a, a woman, a woman of color, um, you know, it, it, it didn't take me long once I got out of college to realize that the workplace wasn't really designed for me. Mm. And um, when I had a chance to make it my mission to try to change it so that it would work for me, um, it was easy to sign up to do that. From a Japan perspective, the way we work, I think, will open doors of changing the Japanese mindset. And we need to change the Japanese mindset to make Japan great again. Hybrid work has become mainstream. Uh, it's kind of the, no the new normal. SNBC was not you know, hybrid focused three years ago. But obviously, COVID forced us into a work from home environment, but we were we were getting there. We've had dramatic growth at SNBC, you know, 82% growth in, of our headcount in just five years. So we were already starting to run out of space. So this was, you know, certainly being talked about, but obviously um, the pandemic really forced us there. One of the, at, at this point we have almost 90% of our people are, are on a hybrid schedule. Hybrid work, let's just say it out loud, it was unnatural in financial services. At an investment bank, I mean, you showed up, everybody showed up. It's dismaying that it took a pandemic for us to have um, the conversation and to come to the realization that we could work hybrid. You know, fast forward now, um, roughly, you know, 65% of our, our folks are in the office about three days a week. The bigger shift was the mindset shift mm -hmm. for it to be okay, right? And um, what I love about this moment is that we're there. The mindset shift I think has happened certainly at a Morgan Stanley where um, we no longer question somebody working in the office a few days a week and working outside of the office a few days a week. Japan is always a little bit different and the culture of working in the office has always been a bit different in general. How, uh, how did the pandemic affect Japan in the front end and then what impacts do you think it will have in Japan? We now know that we can do things that we didn't think was possible. And I think that there's a big difference um, between companies and what what type of jobs you have. So I would say compared to the US, Japan is still in transition and grappling with how they want to proceed. Um, I think the mindset of having somebody work from home, everybody has done it, have, has worked from home, and they also know that it works. But I, I think that we still, there are some managers that feel more comfortable seeing somebody work on the, at their desk. There are managers that evaluate people based on how long they're in the office, if they're seen or if they're flexible. How we, can we work efficient is something that we haven't really been good at. But I think for some people, working at home is actually a source of efficiency. You know, now that we're not all in the office every day, you do have to be very intentional about when you're coming in. We certainly make um, a point of coming in on days when we know more people will be there. We believe very much in the apprenticeship culture at Morgan Stanley, which means um, you have to have interaction with, with other people. And there's real value to being in the space with others, engaging with others. Just really bring your authentic self to work. Bring your full self. Um, we couldn't, we had to during the pandemic, right? We couldn't get away from it. Um, I think we, we were all kind of forced into it, but I really hope that that trend continues and that we all feel more comfortable doing that. I had to help men help me. The moment I realized that actually I could go further faster if I was willing to sort of open up and trust a few people by talking about the things that weren't working for me. But I would encourage you all to find a few people and again, particularly again as it's Women's History Month, um, men in, in, your, in your workplace and, and especially those men who have the ability to influence your career. Maybe it's your manager, maybe it's somebody who's senior to you. Um, they're not going to know what is harmful to you, what's getting in your way, unless you say it out loud. You will feel that you can delegate. And I think that's, the, that's really important because um, in order to grow in your job, you have to delegate. And if you can't find people you trust and delegate, you won't be able to grow your job.